A really nice way to solve a system of equations is by graphing, especially if both equations that you're given are in slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept inter form is y equals mx plus b. So if you look at this equation and this equation, they're both written in slope-intercept form. So it should be super simple for us to graph each equation and see where they cross over. So let's go ahead and graph the first line. I'm going to go ahead and try my best to make two very nice and straight axes. Okay, so we have our y-axis and we have our x-axis. So let's look at the y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So if you just saw my graphing video, you should be familiar with how to graph these lines. If you haven't seen that video yet, I would recommend you watching that one first and then coming back to this. But anyway, so 1 half, that is going to be our slope. And then 0, 2 is going to be our y-intercept. We always plot the y-intercept first. So 0, 2, 0, 1, 2. So our first point is going to be at 0, comma 2. And now we just follow the slope, which is up 1 over 2. So we go up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. And then we're also going to go backwards, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. And we're going to go ahead and do our best to draw a straight line. And that is going to be y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So now we have to draw our second line to see where they cross over. The point where they cross over will be the solution to the system of equations. So now the second equation is y is equal to negative 2x minus 3. Negative 2 I like to write as a fraction so I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to go 2 down and 1 over. So that is going to be the slope. And then the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 3. Again, what do I plot first? The 0, negative 3, because that's the y-intercept. So 0, 1, 2, 3. And then I go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And then I'm also going to go in the opposite direction so that they have an opportunity to cross over. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And I already see where they're crossing over, but I'm going to go ahead and make my line first. I'm going to label my line y is equal to negative 2x minus 3. And I'm going to go ahead and make the point red where they cross over. So where do they cross over? Negative 1, negative 2, up 1. So negative 2, comma 1 should be the solution to the system of equations. Now, how do I know if I got the right answer to this problem? I should be able to plug this point into both this and this equation, and the end result should be that they both are true. So let me show you how that is done. So the first equation is y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. So the x is going to be negative 2 and the y is going to be 1. So y is equal to 1 half negative 2 plus 2. And then again, the y is 1, so y is equal to 1 half times negative 2 plus 2. So 1 is equal. So 1 half of negative 1 is negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. 1 is equal to 1. That is a true statement. So that first equation works out. This, because they're set equal to each other, means that they work out. Now, if it said 1 is equal to 2, that is not a true statement. So then it would not have worked out but it does, it ended with a true statement. So now let's go ahead and see if we can plug that same point into the second equation. So it was y is equal to negative two x minus three. Again, the x is going to be negative two and the y is going to be one. So negative two times negative two is positive four. Four minus three, is that equal to one? Yes, one is equal to one. That is a true statement. So my answer is correct. Now, it just so happened that these are equal to one another, but they don't have to be. This one could have said 2 equals 2, and this could have said 14 equals 14. As long as the final statement is true, meaning you have the same number on both sides, the same number on both sides, it doesn't really matter what you end up with. As long as when you plug in the solution to the equations, you end up with a true statement, then that means that this is the accurate spot. I don't know why I just pronounced it like that. Accurate point 
of where they cross over. So that would be the solution. So you can solve a system of equations by graphing, by graphing each line, seeing where they cross over, and then the point where they cross over, that is the answer. You plug the answer into the equations to make sure that it's true. If they come out as true, then you know you got the right solution to your problem, and you can go ahead and write it as a point, negative two comma one.